I set out to make a video comparing the Hermita Audio Zen Drive to the J-Rocket Dude overdrive pedals in the battle of which is the best D-style overdrive pedal. I feel like the Zen Drive has a little less gain on tap, retains the character of your guitar's pickups a little more, uh, and the Dude by J-Rocket has a little more gain on tap and probably is a little more versatile for different game structures and different guitar setups, but maybe is a little less natural sounding, but the reality is they're both great. And I was kind of losing my mind researching these pedals to the point of obsession where I was going to bed at night, pouring over gear page uh, and Reddit threads. And a part of me thought, man, if I get this decision right, suddenly I'll be the evolved guitar player that I've always dreamt I was gonna be. And then I realized that this video wasn't going to be about these two pedals at all. So if you go down the tone rabbit hole, eventually you'll discover Robin Ford and the Dumble Overdrive. This kind of rich, buttery, mid-range sustain. And for my band, I find that this uh, is the best kind of solo tone. So I've been using the Zen Drive for years, but then, you know, going down YouTube rabbit holes, oh, what's this J-Rocket dude? Maybe this is better. And you start doing this thing where you go, man, if I get this piece of gear, I'll suddenly Mario Mushroom. So I order the pedal in the mail, I get it in, and then I'm just stuck because I don't honestly know what to say, because I thought one of these two pedals would suddenly make me a better player, would suddenly inspire me, would suddenly make me sound better. And shortly after receiving the dude pedal in the mail, the craziest thing happened to me. So because it's the pandemic and my band's not touring, I'm waiting tables at a restaurant in Nashville. And then the man himself randomly comes in and suddenly I'm waiting on Robin Ford. After I give him a check and serve him, I, I basically said, hey man, Robin, I uh, just want to thank you for your, for your playing and, and everything you've done for the field of guitar. And I'm actually about to make a video comparing uh, the Zen Drive, which I know you use, to uh, the dude trying to figure out, you know, which one's best. And I was kind of hoping he'd, you know, give me the answer. And instead, he holds up the book he's reading and he goes, hey, have you read this book? Sapiens by uh, Yuval Noah Harari. Now, did Robin Ford know his waiter was going to subtly probe him for tone secrets? No. Did Robin Ford think that in suggesting I read the book he was currently reading, think that I would find tone secrets therein? Probably not. But the moment still felt serendipitous. And there was a lesson that I found within all of it. You see, I immediately purchased Sapiens and read it. Uh, and it's a super interesting book that tells the kind of slow and strange tale of human biological and social evolution. There were twists and turns and long periods of stagnation and confusion and there were innovations and there were accidents uh, and none of it's pretty, yet we endure. But there was a glint in Robin's eye that day at the restaurant and I've come to realize that this whole thing has been a reminder that he didn't have an easy answer for my tone question that he's still learning and evolving and growing, just as I am, just as we, the human race, are, uh, and that there are no easy shortcuts or easy answers, and that evolution happens when you're busy making other plans, and that he can only be him and I can only be me. And it may sound obvious, but when you take a step back from the tone trees and look at the whole forest, you might just remember to plant your seeds and be patient, for growth is slow, messy, confusing, but ultimately beautiful. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.